All righty. Welcome to Night News. Our top stories. Lots of top stories. Lots of junk, folks. Drake Maverick back in WWE, folks. Um, he's working backstage and creative or whatever. One of the big headlines for this today. X released in all cap. WWE star returns instead of just writing Drake Maverick returns or whatever. Former release WWE victim <laughs> returns. And the narrative there, McMahon released wrestlers. He released PayPal. You know, and Drake Maverick's back or whatever. So it's like, release McMahon or whatever. Like, Tony's going to have to release a shit ton of people too, especially with these talks of budget issues, folks, recently. And I can't wait to stick it to Big Tone. Every time he releases somebody, I'm going to pretend to cry. Like these hypocritical AEW fans or whatever. I can't wait there. Um, so Kenny Omega, when he was talking to Meltzer about Cody Rhodes, they're throwing Cody Rhodes under the bus or whatever. They're he also talked about the video game. He said the game is going to be released at some point, apparently. Hopefully by the end of this year. It's only been two and a half years, this game or whatever. Um, he says it's going to be really fun or whatever. Different shit like this. But he says it doesn't compare to the production of WWE 2K22. That's how you promote a game or whatever. It's it's not as good as the real real game. You know, we're just a ripoff game. It's going to be fun. You know what I mean? They rip off somebody else's shit or whatever. Oh, it's not going to be as good as the real product. We got some shitty rip-off product or whatever. Like, Take your GM mode and your rip-off of 15-year-old games there and shove it up your asses, you fucking goofballs there. Meltzer says The Rock versus Roman Reigns won't happen at Mania 39. Because of the XFL or whatever. There's no evidence that Reigns and Rock is happening to begin with. So. Fuck off, die. Fuck off with your fake news, Meltzer. WWE's Twitter account teasing Cody Rhodes, ladies and gentlemen. So they quoted the Miz's promo with the word dashing in all caps or whatever. Um, during Edge's promo, apparently the WWE Twitter wrote smoke and mirrors like the, the goofy song of Cody Rhodes there. You're all this fucking man tonight or whatever. Pat McAfee said WWE or, or Cody Rhodes is coming to WWE, I guess, or something like this. He says he hopes if he goes there that he's going to SmackDown. So a little bit of uh, Cody Rhodes teasing there. Um, we'll see what happens or whatever, folks. <laughs> Either way, I mean. Fightful folks reporting that AJ Styles has signed a new WWE contract 
three million a year. I don't know if it's that much there, but good thing for AJ Styles. You know, AEW, they thought that AJ was going to go there, but wrong. Uh, AJ resigns again there, staying with the real promotion or whatever. A Meltzer talking about Steve Austin there. This kind of reads like a big pile of mush there. They didn't really push the Austin thing too hard tonight. I mean, it was there. Was it there? <laughs> I didn't see any kind of Austin push, but they didn't really push the Austin thing too hard tonight. I mean, it was there, but I guess because they've got the tag team thing that they've got to get to first before they get to the Austin Owens thing. Um, is it possible that the Austin Owens thing is a bullshit thing or whatever? Like, if Owens has such a high profile match against Steve Austin, why wouldn't they start this right away there? Why would they bother doing this tag team stuff with Seth Rollins? They're supposed to fight for the belts or something. Why would they have a program? Why would they do a tag team program first, which is going to last multiple weeks? And then when there's two weeks to Mania, then you start busting out Austin. Like, why? Like, if Austin is supposed to be there, wouldn't you bring him out right away? Like, sell out the rest of the tickets, get some fucking huge ratings on Raw. Why would you do a program of tag team? for whatever time, instead of just going with giant Stone Cold ratings. Why wouldn't you do that? Like, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I have no faith in this Steve Austin shit. I'd love if it was real once again, but you know what? It was there. Where was it there? Where did they talk about Stone Cold fighting Kevin Owen? It's a tag team match with Randy Orton. And it's a tag team program. Why would they do this? Why bother when you can bring in Austin and double the ratings on Raw like that? You could double them. Why would they waste their fucking time? You know? We'll see, folks. We'll see what happens there. Tony Khan was talking about Adam Page, booking Adam Page. It was good. It's a challenge. And it was a risk in some ways. It was not good, first of all. <laughs> not good there. And it was... All a risk, not in some ways, in all the ways, because he's not chat material, first of all. He's not viewed as a, a star. He's not built up properly. The guy, they gave him a bunch of time off. Oh, we made it work. No, you didn't make it work. You know what I mean? Like, it was a complete risk. The guy's a nobody, for fuck's sakes. Now they're burying him on the show every week with Dan Lambert or whatever. Now he's going to fight Adam Cole. Who's interested in this? Like, But in other ways, it was absolutely the right thing to do. In which way is it the right thing to do? The guy has no interest in him. Who's talking about Adam Cole and, you know, nobody. I'm not seeing any headline anywhere. I'm not seeing fuck all about Hangman Page written anywhere. My subscription, Facebook, 
I go on Twitter. I don't see big anybody writing anything about a hangman page. This is a, a fucking fail and a half there. Like, no viewers for this world champion. Like, nobody gives a fuck. It, it's not the right thing. In my opinion, folks, I mean, what did they get last week? They're 800,000 or whatever. Like, it's the right thing in many ways. Um, PW Insider, they say Bobby Lashley, he's getting his shoulder checked by doctors in Alabama. He might need surgery. If he gets surgery, then you'll have to miss Mania or whatever. Um, let's hope Bobby recovers fast and just does what he has to do for his health or whatever there. And now, folks, the big viewership there. AEW Rampage for the 18th of February, 2022. They got 471,000 viewers, folks. Under 500K, 471,000 viewers. What a fail, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, this show was called Slam Dunk. AW Rampage, the Slam Dunk edition. I didn't watch, didn't bother to watch. Certainly not going to watch now after seeing these pathetic numbers. The slam dunk edition. More like eh, rejected 471. Airball. <laughs> slam dunk. Give me a fucking break. What a fail. Tony Khan hired like 600 people. We, we have a third hour of wrestling. We're going to have to hire more people. Bring in the big show. Mark Henry. 471,000. A billion dollars later, folks. Nobody watches the show. You can't pay people to watch this trash there. Smackdown, folks. 2.2 million viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. 2.2 million viewers for SmackDown. Now that's a real wrestling show on Friday night. I mean, keep on trucking, Tony. I mean, you're going to make it one day. We're going to see what... Uh, Tony's big announcement is, or whatever, there. Maybe he bought Jeff Jarrett's uh, GCW for a billion dollars. This is a great investment, Jeff Jarrett. We'll see what this is, folks. Um, maybe Kenny Omega getting involved in Japanese porn or something. We're going to fund Kenny's Outsider Projects. We love pro wrestling here. <clears throat> so that's the news, folks. I mean, TNA or <clears throat> not TNA, folks. Hey, the old you. Same thing. The laughing stock of the wrestling world. I mean, breaking news. Hey, W. Fucking sucks. Until next time, stay tuned for more news. Peace, folks.